It's Miracles Today with Billy Burke. Coming from Ruth Eckerd Hall in Clearwater, Florida, Billy Burke was healed of terminal brain cancer at a very early age at a Catherine Kuhlman service. Ms. Kuhlman called him out on the balcony, and when she touched him with the power of God, the cancer was completely gone. Today, Pastor Billy is taking that same healing power of God to the nations. No pain! No pain! I knew it by then! I can see! I have my voice back, and I am cancer free. I'm Pastor Billy Burke. I've been waiting for you to be here so we could be together and talk about these miracles. What miracles did I be talking about? The one that's coming your way. God doesn't put you in here to this show just to be a viewer, just to be a spectator. There's something in you that he's trying to get inside your body. He wants you to live longer and stronger. He wants you to. But he wants you to really make an effort Come on, make an effort. You can make a little bit more effort. We all can make a little bit more effort to reach out to him. Say his name. That's something we can all do. Jesus, touch me. Jesus, heal me. To many, that's sacrificial because they don't do that at all. Your willpower alone will not get you well. Your ingenuity and all of your knowledge alone will not get you well. It's a dependency on the healer himself and displaying that need to him that moves him to reach out to you. Just say that, Lord, I need you. How about this, Holy Spirit, I need you. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's the beginning of your wellness. That's the beginning of heaven opening up for you to bring you the biggest blessing that he has for you today. We have a wonderful broadcast for you today. We have some people that have been wonderfully touched in Toronto. A lady came in, in Bradenton. She was carrying an oxygen machine, severe COPD. I mean, she had a death sentence. They told her that she didn't think that she would live to see her next appointment. She was that close to death. Guess what she did? She came to a meeting. Guess what happened? She got healed. I'm going to let her tell you that story that I'm coming back to say a prayer just for you. But in the meantime, the number's right there. Call, call. Let's go see the lady in Toronto. I just saw you somewhere else, didn't I? <laughs> you in Sarasota. This, yes. That was Friday. Friday. Uh, I mean, you're up here, and you're as crazy as I am. I am. <laughs> <laughs> From the beaches to the snowbanks, right here. And, and since last Friday, I haven't used the oxygen at all. It's been gone, and I had it before. She she came in. This was Friday night in Sarasota. And you had a tank, right? Friday morning when you Friday. broke the yoke. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was at the Christian retreat? Yes. Braden. Yeah, 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 yeah. Teaching yeah. a yoke. Yeah, yeah. And we got rid of the yoke, and I'm not putting it back on again. <laughs> she came in, and how long was you on that oxygen? Four, Four years. years. Four years. Yes. And you had pain somewhere, right? Yeah, I had pain here. And that's not there. Sometimes that pain is still here. I went and testified to the doctor that I had been healed. Yeah. And um, he said, oh, everything is still there. The pain, the pain, the and the fibrosis is all still there. But he said, I can't argue with the oxygen. He said, I am perplexed. He's perplexed. Yes. See, now, here's a great example. Here's a great example that she's probably 70% healed. But you don't wait till you're 100%. You get the portion that God gives you. And you, and you go crazy praising for it. I thank you for the 70%. I thank you for the 50%. Now, now so he was perplexed because you don't do the oxygen. Yes, and it's perfect. I'm perfectly all right. But there's still all the things here, the lung fibrosis, the peculiar bacteria. It's all there. How she handles the part that God did do will determine how much and how fast this other part goes away. I'm telling you, that's how it works. It's going to be for the glory of God, this sickness. Yeah. And, um, and it's going to show forth God's wonderful splendor. I'm not letting the devil back. Somebody give him praise. Somebody give him praise. Somebody give God praise. 
well, you prayed for me on February the 5th, and the yoke was broken, and I was off the oxygen. You also, you also prayed for the pain in my side, which I've had ever since February the 5th till three weeks ago, and you prayed that it, it was scar tissue attached to the ribs. The doctor said it would never go away. Three weeks ago, on the internet from Miami, suddenly I felt it loosen off. I've had no pain since. It was every breath I took. This you heart. always smile. You seem like you're well, always... Well, I'm praising God. I know, but you're always smiling. People are going to well, think that's not real or something. <laughs> it you're, is real. You're always... Where's your husband at? We'll yeah, right here. Is that real? Oh, you're smiling, too. <laughs> oh, man. We were, we were living, waiting for her death. When we met you... Waiting for her death? Waiting for her death. She'd been given a death sentence five years ago, six years ago, told by the doctor, you may not make it to your next appointment. Then she got a second curse, and that too was broken. So when we came to Bradenton, she was dragging that oxygen machine everywhere she went. She slept with it, and this pain was there. It had been there for five years. She never complained about it. Ow! You got several things going on there. Yes, ma'am, what happened to you? Last month? Um, you called someone with glaucoma, and I had a cataract. I was really almost blinded, and uh, it just went away in, uh, in my seat. But I had been calling, I am healed. Now, twice since last month, it tried to come back. I was almost blind. I said, no, I'm healed, and it went away. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> wow! Not only that, not only that since the yeah. Monday night, my um, posture is even. My husband oh, does chiropractic massage. Your, your posture is even. That means totally bones. even. My feet are even, and I'm oh, standing on the That's huge. Oh, and that is my huge. shoulders used to be sloped, very sloped. Yes. I couldn't hold a person. Yes. You know, ladies, the chain would fall off. Oh, oh, and now oh. Now it's oh. only slightly sloped. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. As you watch today's broadcast of Miracles Today with Billy Burke, this powerful healing signal that's being broadcast to millions of people all over the world. Our prayer partners are standing by to pray for you. Call now and speak to someone who wants to pray for you to receive all that God has for you today. Call 844-A-MIRACLE. That's 844 and the letters A-MIRACLE. Call now. Amazing how this woman was expected to die by professionals. Sometimes we just say the doctor said the doctor said, you understand you're talking about educated people. They're not guessing. They are educated people. They go by charts. They go by <laughs> statistics. They go by former cases. These are brilliant people. They, they go to school forever. So these aren't people making a flippant knee jerk. You're, you're, you're going to die. These are people saying, here's the best natural knowledge that I have, and here's what I say, you're at death's door. Wow. What's that say? It says that God shows up and says, no, you're going to live. It means in all of our brilliance, with all that we know, I don't care if it's a chiropractor, a doctor, a nutritionist, whoever, they have skin on, they've studied in the natural realm. You've got to be very careful that you don't let that take you all the way to a conclusion that's not right. How can you ever oh, let out of your sight that your life is in the hands of the Lord and it's His will, His way, His words, His time that has to what? Carry you in this moment because God says that He's going to intervene. I'm looking at many of you right now. You're looking at one of me. I'm looking at probably tens if not hundreds of thousands of you across India and across Asia all across the Hawaiian Islands, here in Toronto, and all over Ontario, all over Canada, in parts of the United States, you're watching this man right here look into the camera and say, you are going to live. You are going to come through the surgery. Some of you are going to have the surgery canceled. Carded arteries are being healed right this moment. This is an amazing time for you. This is not over. You're not stuck with your situation. Miracles interrupt all negative surrounding. Miracles change the landscape. Miracles is what Jesus did and still does and has one coming with your name all over it. Brain tumor being healed as I'm speaking. 
thank you, Lord, for that brain tumor. Someone has an eye, one eye that's sealed. I don't know why the eye is sealed. You can't open it. There's no muscle to open that eye. It's flickering right now. That eye will be completely open by the time the broadcast is over. Get ready. What an amazing time for you. We have a great guest today. His name is Andre LeFure, and he's with us today to tell us what happened to him. Andre, what happened to you? I had uh, enlarged prostate, which caused uh, me to get up quite frequently at night while I was sleeping, oh, wow. maybe five or six times during the course of a night. Five or six times. That's yes. broken sleep patterns. Yes, sir. That means you're yes, tired sir. the next day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. So, uh, I was uh, diagnosed. It's called benign prostate hyperplasia. Wow. And it's just an enlarged prostate that pushes yeah. against the bladder. Wow. So uh, you had a water baptism at Fort DeSoto Park yes. just last May. And I went to that. <clears throat> you baptized me. And uh, I came up, went home that night. I was very tired. And I actually went to bed early. And I slept 12 hours straight without getting up once. Zero. So I was standing in the bathroom the next day. And I was thinking, I, I didn't wake up at all the night before. Not once. I was amazed. So I started praising God in the bathroom, went out, told some friends of mine, well, me being very analytical, I had to test that. So the next night, I drank like a half a liter of water before I went to bed. Woke up the next morning, didn't, no interruption in my sleep at all. So praise God, haven't had a lick of problem since. Amazing. Amazing that he goes to go ocean baptism. We have an ocean baptism once a year in the Gulf of Mexico. If you have not been to one of those, you need to make sure you get to our next one. We have so many people get healed when they go into the waters. This is amazing because it's, it's, it's your faith, yeah, but also God chooses the time and the place. If he wants to heal you publicly, that's where it's going to be. If he wants to heal you in a car, that's where it'll be. But you've got to surrender to that. And that's what you have to do today. This is an amazing story because this kind of a this kind of a prost, uh, prostate issue can all can turn into cancer if this isn't taken care of. There's so many things that can that can get worse instead of better. And that's why I'm talking to many of you today. Don't wait for it to get worse. You know, reach out to God today. Call the number on your screen. Get prayer today. Trust God today. Yeah, I tried that. Try it again. And again, and again, don't quit. He has a healing for you. He has a breakthrough for you. He's a healing covenant kind of God. He wants to reason with you. There may be something he's trying to inform you of that'll help remove a block, help remove something that's resisting the anointing or resisting his love to you. Cooperate more fully today and just say, Lord, if there's anything blocking this, let me know what it is. I want it out of the way. Oh, my. Lord, touch your people today. Remove hindrances and blocks and weights and walls. Remove everything hindering the healing of your people, hindering those seeking for help. We release a wave of healing into all of the organs of people, into all of the organs of the people. Create new kidneys and new lungs and new spleens. Create legs and limbs, oh Lord Jesus. Let there be limbs grow and legs grow and feet grow. Oh God, we praise you for your mighty creative power. Shake the earth with your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow. We got Debbie Spaduto back with us, and she's going to sing a song called Saturate Me with Your Anointing. Debbie? Yeah. 
sensing his presence right now there's nothing like that what you're feeling right now is greater than anything I could say or do for you I want you just to close your eyes and just believe that God has started something if he hadn't started before you watch this broadcast believe that it's continuing believe that it's starting even right this moment that healing that the reinforcement that help is here that he's heard your cry that he has seen your suffering. Some of you are just so stretched beyond human capacity, you don't know what to do. You're overladen with issues with family and work. And you don't feel good. No, you don't have any terminal disease. You just don't feel good. You just don't feel like you have the wherewithal to just do things that you normally used to do so easily. You now know how much maybe you took for granted that what you did do. It's not over, though. Yeah, I know, I, but you don't know how I feel. Well, maybe I do and maybe I don't. I know we've all felt like this is it. It's over. I can never be strong again. I can never be like I was, and that's not true. Well, you got to die sometime. Not today. Not tomorrow. You know, you've got to begin to believe that your God breathes life into you. You've got to quit just believing in the church, start believing in the Holy Spirit. Quit believing just, you know, parking your car in the parking lot, going here in the sermon. That was a good sermon, hug a few people. We got a great church. Well, I'm sure you do, but unless you get something you can take home, something that burns on the inside of you called that, give me oil in my lamp and keep it burning. That's that extra oil that the, that the virgins talked about in Matthew 25. That passion, that fire of God that keeps me believing and trusting that I'm here, but I'm not a part of all this. I don't have to get their diseases. I don't have to get into their craziness. I don't have to pick up the transfers of, from the news channels and from magazines and newspapers. I, I don't have to walk through the mall or I don't have to get anything jumping off of anything to, to get to me because I'm covered by the blood. I'm covered by the armor. I'm covered by a greater promise than the promise of death and destruction. I'm covered by the Holy Spirit and so are you. I'm telling you right now, you are going to be fine. The snake that's biting you, you're going to tramp on it. The scorpion that's stinging you, you're going to tramp on that too. You're going to tramp on the snakes and the scorpions. It may not seem like it at the moment, but I'm telling you that's exactly what's going to happen. And you're going to get healed. And you're going to be strong again. You're going to love again. You're going to feel like investing your life in another life once again. You're going to feel like getting out of your hibernation and, and, and going out and being with people again, getting back maybe into your church or into a, a group somewhere where there's people that 
will love you. You can't shut yourself off and expect you know, this great revelation, this great joy to hit you. Make an effort to re-enter the circulation of human conversation. Nobody's perfect. Everybody carries something. That's why we need a Savior. But tonight, today, on this broadcast, wherever it's hitting you, he's healing cells in your body right now. He's replenishing stem cells that have just been lost through the aging process. Some of you have been in car, car accidents and snowmobile accidents and skiing accidents and bicycle accidents, and your body's just bruised and banged up from motor vehicle accidents. He's healing every one of you, every single motor vehicle accident is being miraculously healed by the power. I'm just waving my hand in, right in your direction. I mean, it's an incredible miracle you're getting today. From motorcycles to snowmobiles to trucks and Jeeps, I mean, into utility vehicles. There's amazing miracles from motor vehicle suffering. He's causing metal that's in some of you from knees to disappear, metal in your bodies. Metal that's been replaced and giving you uh, relief. He's removing metal from your system and from your teeth where you were filled with stuff that harms you. He's removing that from your bloodstream. Oh, that's amazing. The strength you're going to begin to feel in these next 72 hours. Pay attention. Numbers on your screen. Call one of the counselors there and say, I, I'm the one that was in this accident. I was in this Jeep that overturned. I was on this ride at the park and the door opened and I fell out. This, I was in this boating accident. And whatever it may be, I want to hear about it now. Do you hear me? Now I want to hear about this motor vehicle accident because there's miracles happening here. There's paralysis being healed. That's right. I said it. Paralysis. I can't believe you said it. I'll say it again. There's paralysis being healed from something in the motor vehicle. I believe it's a snowmobile being healed, spine coming back together. You're going to feel it all go the whole way up to the back of your neck. It's going to be an amazing experience. He's healing that right this moment. Somebody's ears just popped open. Thank you, dear Lord. I'll tell you, I feel the power in this place. Holy Ghost has power. Holy Spirit is all powerful. But we have to activate it with our mouth. We can't believe something that we don't activate. You know, once you activate the parachute, then you say, I trust this parachute. Once you swim underwater with an oxygen tank, then you say, hmm, I trust this oxygen tank. Activate your faith today. Come on, say, this is my day. I'm hearing truth. I'm feeling the love of God. This is my moment. Oh, my, some of you are actually shaking like this. You're vibrating because the anointing is hitting you so hard. That's because God has a miracle for you, a miracle healing, it's called or a minor resurrection. Please, I want you, this big program is all about these motor vehicle. Please call the number on your screen. Let one of my people know the type of accident that you've been in, the injury that had happened, and the difference you're experiencing at this moment. I want you to take time, get into one of our meetings until I meet you back here again on the web, back here again in one of our services on the homepage of billyburke.org. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and everything it's possible with God. We'll see you. Bye-bye. And when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this. They said unto him, Yes, Lord. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith be it unto you. And their eyes were opened. Hurry and order your copy today and charge your atmosphere with healing. Pastor Billy's World Outreach website is a wonderful tool designed just for you, no matter what you're going through. 
you'll see many things that will greatly help you, like Pastor Billy's Word of the Week. Just click on the triangle and enjoy a special word that's new every week. Or go over to the Miracles Today window where you can watch past shows or enjoy the most recent Miracles Today broadcast. It's Miracles Today with Billy Burke. You can also visit the Crusade itinerary window and see when Pastor Billy will be in your area again. There's so much to experience like what to do when you are beginning your healing experience. You can encourage your faith by clicking on the Miracle Theater, which documents God's amazing healing power through the many lives that forever were changed through this ministry. And you can pick up valuable resources that will help you gain a stronger walk with the Lord, a more powerful faith life, and receive the amazing breakthrough that you're believing for. Why not visit BillyBurke.org after the broadcast and just take a look around. You'll be glad you did. Join hands with Billy Burke as he takes the miracle healing power of God around the world. Your prayers and financial support to this ministry can make all the difference. Your gift is so appreciated. Please visit BillyBurke.org or in the U.S. write Billy Burke World Outreach, P.O. Box 25441, Tampa, Florida, 33622 or call 888, the number 7 and the word HEALED. In Canada, please visit TouchingToronto.com or write to Touching Toronto in care of Selwyn Outreach Centre, 2686 Lakefield Road, Selwyn, Ontario, K9J6X5. 